Hey, what's up, everyone? It's your boy Willie V, aka Bull Boy Kettles. I just have a quick tip here on the uh, Quick Time Player. Now, uh, most would may or may not know that when you're playing certain video files, and uh, especially uh, DV files for that matter, a lot of times the video looks like uh, total crap, to say the least. And what I mean by that, and, and if you have um, screen flow or or I show you or or anything, you know, as far as for uh, capturing a video from your uh, computer, you know, you, you may export to you know, a certain format, lossless or or something like that, and uh, you may just take that video and drop it into Visual Hub. And then uh, convert it into a uh, DV file, you know, depending on the steps that you want to take. Of course, there's many different ways to do it, but that's just one of many examples I'm going to use. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a video here that this was a uh, full screen export as, as a lossless format, which I did drop into uh, Visual Hub and export it as a uh, DV file so that I can uh, later edit it and do different things with it in um, Final Cut Express. So let me uh, go ahead and uh, open this up. And as you can see, the quality is uh, very bad. It's, it's real fuzzy, and that's the main problem, that the videos end up looking very fuzzy. Now, I want you to look at the name. It says Final Cut dot DV. So I'm not. I don't have a duplicate file of this. It's the same exact file that's on my desktop. All right. I'll go ahead and I'll close that out. Now, what I want you to do, if if you have a QuickTime Pro, because I'm not sure if this is on the regular uh, QuickTime or not. So that's why I'm saying QuickTime Pro. Uh, go ahead and uh, click on your menu. Go to Preferences. You get this dialog box that comes up, and in the General tab it'll be the third option down for movies go ahead and select that use high quality video settings when available and the reason you want to select it is because by default QuickTime will play a lower quality um, version of the movie if that makes any sense so now that we have that selected you know we're going to uh, close out our preferences and we'll reopen that that same movie again and as you can see the name, Final Cut .dv, it's the same exact video file, but now it's it's clear. So it wasn't so much the export, but if you play it back in QuickTime and you do notice you get videos that are fuzzy like that, definitely make sure you enable that feature through the uh, QuickTime preferences, not QuickTime preferences, but the preference tab. Select the third option from the top use high video quality setting when available and that will uh, give you the the clear clarity of the video rather than a fuzzy view anyways this is uh, Willie V aka Boo Boy Kennels and as always thank you for taking the time to watch